Okay, so today I'm doing a little other kind of homemade upgrade thing. Um, basically, just to learn from my mistakes, I rolled this four-wheeler, I don't know, like half a year ago, um, and proceeded to bend my steering stem pretty awfully. As you can see, it is definitely no longer straight, the old one. Um, it bent right at the bracket. Luckily, on the frame and stuff, the welds were fine. It didn't screw up the bracket at all, but clearly the steering shaft was not okay. It actually bent back and um, cracked my airbox and stuff. I had to replace all that, which was not fun. So going forward, obviously the goal is never to roll it again, but just in case that happens, I kind of jigged up this steering brace to hopefully prevent the um, new stem from ever going into bending. I'd seen a couple designs online and I just kind of reverse engineered it using measurements off the steering stem that's in there. Um, it's just a piece of bar stock with a hole in the end. I, so that's an M10 bolt, like an M10 by 1.5, um, little chamfer on the end. The bar stock ended up being like 27 and a half, but there is a little bit of slop in it, which I wasn't a huge fan of. So probably going up to like 28 would be an okay idea. Um, but it should definitely still prevent it from going into bending or anything. It's not like there's a whole lot of play to where it could bend this entire shaft. Um, and this top plate just has four clearance holes for the four bolts that hold your bars on. And then there's a counter bore underneath um, to clearance that protrusion on the stock stem where it kind of comes through with the welds. Um, and then there's just a clearance hole for the bolt on top, which I put red Loctite on and tightened up. So hopefully this stays one piece, just an assembly forever. Um, so that just slides in. Obviously I got the bars and stuff off right now. Um, just slides in, you put your steering brackets on. I had to get longer bolts, which I'm gonna be throwing in and then I'll take a quick shot of the finished product. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it fits. I already checked all the old bolts went in. They just weren't long enough to get the nuts on the backside. So I had to go get longer ones, but um, yeah. So I got it all bolted together. This is the finished product. That bolt with that, just that socket head M10 ended up clearing under the bar. So I didn't have to do any funny business there with like trimming the bolt or anything. I think a hex head bolt would have worked fine too. Um, these two bolts I had to go change to uh, like 5 sixteenths um, standard bolts instead of metric because Ace Hardware did not have long enough metric bolts. So I wasn't super happy about that. But um, other than that, it turned out pretty good. I had to trim all four bolts so they didn't stick out too far. But um, fits pretty good. And the stock little foam piece still fits on nice and doesn't obstruct it or anything and you can still see the screen fine so call that a success.